Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be making today's video because we're doing the power of makeup. Half of my face is glam and the other half is just its bare natural beauty, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. But before we start, let's address the elephant in the room. Last time I was blonde with dark roots. I went back to my hairdresser to retexturize my roots and to recolor it, bleach blonde, which it was, and my hair is freaking burnt. Like, seriously burnt. This is as cute as I could get it while my scalp heals. So in my next video, you might see me with a wig on, and I swore to never wear them again, so I'm pretty mad about that, but hey, hair grows back, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial, and let me know your thoughts down below, okay? Make sure that you like, you comment, you subscribe, and I can't wait for you guys to watch this video. So, first of all, I'm gonna start off by applying my primer, and I'm using the Estee Lauder, the Mattifier Primer. This is a great primer if you have oily skin, and we're gonna do this half of the face, because I feel like I've got um, more black, well, I've got two scars here, which I would prefer to cover up. Um, so, we're just gonna apply it here. It feels so nice and smooth, this primer. Like, literally, I love it. Oh, and if you see my brows, they look like they're done. They're actually microbladed, so that's why they kind of look a little bit better. So I kind of, I'm kind of te cheating a little bit, but not really, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and basically apply some powder on top of my primer. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend this step. And I'm going to use my Makeup Addiction Skin Perfecting Sponge. And use the booty part, okay? You want the booty part to apply the product. And this may look crazy right now, but just bounce it on your face and you will get coverage. And your foundation is gonna last longer, which is what we all want, right? You don't wanna apply your makeup and have it slide off Midday, what is the point of spending all those hours doing it? Or half an hour, <laughs> however long it takes. Let me move this raggedy hair out of the way. I literally can't even believe what's happened with my hair. Now, don't be shy with just bouncing it into your skin and making sure you get good coverage. As you can see, there's pretty good coverage already with just powder. And make sure that it's damp as well. Next, I'm going in with my MAC Match Faster. <laughs> MAC Match Master Foundation in shade 9. This is like one of my favorite foundations ever and I'm going to use one pump and a tad, more like close to two. And I'm just going to apply this over. I'm gonna do a bit of swatting. It looks a bit orange now, but don't worry. It's all gonna blend. And I don't do buffing. I do more like swiping, like short swipes. I find that that works best if you have powder on top of your primer. And I look hella orange right now, but don't worry. It's all gonna make sense. Wonder whether I should apply a little bit more, shall I? <laughs> Maybe. Let's just make it dramatic, okay? Because we wanna see a good difference. We're not trying to do just a, just a cute natural glam, because that defeats the purpose. We wanna see the real, real power of makeup. So. Next, I'm going to apply my concealer, and this is the Kat Von D Concealer in D35 Neutral. I absolutely love this shade. If you're my skin tone, which is like a MAC NW45 or 9.0 or um, Lancome 13, then this is a great shade. And I'd like to apply some here, just so I can get this V shape. Maybe a little bit here, and over here, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to use my chiseled brush to just blend it all in. And don't be shy to bring it over your eye because it acts as a primer and it makes it a lot easier to blend it all together. I'm now going to contour my nose with the Makeup Revolution in the C15. And we're going to do half of the nose, of course. So let's see how we get on with that. I might just mix the excess on the back of my hand just so I don't get too much product 
I like to bring it in where my brow starts and pull it down. And for the perimeter of my face, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade 10, I believe. And this is a great dark shade for the perimeter of my face. I'm going to go in and I'm going to now blend with my chisel brush. Now I'm going to set my face with the Sasha Buttercup. This is like one of my favorite powders. I've had this for quite some time now and it's nearly finished, but it's okay. We got it back up. Now that I've finished pressing the powder in, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. And I've been doing this step recently and I really, really love it because I feel like it makes my under eye even brighter and just more awake. Everybody needs a bit of <laughs> look like you're awake, especially when you've got two kids, like seriously, mm -hmm. in place. And now I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark to set the rest of my face. And I'm just using pattern motions to make sure that it's locked into place. It's time for bronzer and contour, an absolutely essential step. Otherwise you just look like Pine Jane. You need to give some dimension to your face. So I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Deep 4 and my Becca Cosmetics bronzer in deep bronze. So I'm gonna mix these two, that's darker, and this is more of a reddish tone. And I'm gonna mix these two to get my perfect bronzing color. As you can see, my face just has some definition and it doesn't look over the top. It's time for blush. I cannot live without blush. Sometimes I do, but most of the time you need some blush, okay? I feel like I've got something here. What's going on here? Oh, some lash glow from yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to go with this middle shade here. It's one from MAC. It's like a peachy shade which is perfect for my skin tone i'm not sure what the name is but i'll try and have a look and see if i can get it out and make sure you don't put your blush like down here like just keep it here and above and bring it up so you get like this lifted face rather than it's time for highlighter i'm going to use my makeup addiction cosmetics loose highlighter in turkish delight this shade is like the perfect rose gold for pretty much any skin tone and I'm going to apply just a little bit because it's pretty pigmented. Dust off the excess, says me. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, okay. Girl, you need to calm down. Oh, we do not need to highlight this much. Let me blend this baby right into my skin. I do not want any harsh lines or any crazy looking highlighter blend to your heart's content and let's do our brows like this brow looks pretty good actually the fact that it's microbladed now this one is looking non-existent so let's just reinstate it real quick and i'm going to use the nyx micro brow pencil in chocolat chocolate and brunette so i'm going to use these two shades and mix them to get my perfect brow shade Now it's time to do my eyes and I'm going to go in with my Meadow palette. This palette has been used and abused and is looking kind of raggedy. But I'm going to go in with the shade Dusk, which is this orange shade here. And I'm going to blend that in my crease. This is going to be a pretty easy eye look. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Dusk. I mean, look at me digging into this. Seriously? Perfect golden bronzy shade with my bottom lash line and use the shade um, Dusk and a bit of crush. I'm going to use the Makeup Addiction 3D Mink Full Silk Lashes in the shade Twilight. I've used these like probably like seven times now. 
Sis by MAC and Chestnut, classic combo. Time for lipstick. I'm going to apply a little bit of lip gloss now and this is the Skinny Dip by Jouer or Jouer, it's Jouer in French. And we're not finished yet, we've got to set our space. I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. And that is the finished look. And I wanted to let you know guys that makeup is just meant to be for fun. You can put it on and you can take it off at the end of the day. You've got to be comfortable with your own skin and if anybody tells you that you're not beautiful with makeup on, like, girl bye, okay? You're beautiful just the way you are, but just use makeup as a way to enhance features to make you feel good and then you just take it off and you still feel good, okay? Because I love my bare face, like, trust me. I love bare skin. I've been working really hard on my skin, making sure that I get my skin care on point. Let's just ignore this rude Joe who decided to interrupt me these past couple of days, but we're just going to ignore him anyway. But I've been working really hard on making sure that my skin is smooth, that I'm trying to remove all of my old acne scars that I had, and just making taking better care of it as I get older. I love makeup so much that I've created makeup addiction. <laughs> That's how much I love makeup. Girl, you need help. But times were tough when I created it, okay? I love makeup. Makeup is fun. Just use it for fun and then take it off. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? Now forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see on my channel.